Any time. Yes. Well, I think what happens is the wedge put pressure right here on this frog. Ah. See? So yeah. he's got this frog that has uh, buried the dog on it. He tried to hold himself up. So he's trying to do everything he can to support his body and to absorb compression. First time I've taken his shoes off, and uh, I don't like to take his. The shoes are supporting this horse, and uh, but look what we see here. We see a frog that is, you know, higher than the, by a long shot than the heels are. Mm -hmm. And so there's a part here in the middle of the frog, and right underneath there's the impar ligament which can be quite painful if they load that, it can bruise easily. These angles should be clear back here. They're an inch away from where he doesn't even have an angle on this hip. Whoa, 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 buddy. And so this horse has had foot problems for a long, long, long time. And, um, Horn here. So all of these angles are running here. They should be way up like this. Here's the angle of this bar. It's about as bad as I've ever seen. So what causes that? Well, I think what's being caused, we'll know, is that he's got a lot of pain in his back. Let's see how hard it is for him to stay on three feet. Yeah. He's got a lot of pain up here in his back. And, uh, and so the back has lost its ability to absorb concussion. You can see this pain here all the way along. Oh, and yeah. not pressing very hard at all. And so when the back can't absorb concussion, the foot needs to absorb a concussion. And so it's, it's landing hard and taking all this load, but now the back part of the foot has collapsed because it's taking so much load for so long. So that's the problem. So, you see how he wants to point? So, I mean, he has just everything that could go wrong. He's got all the swelling here in the heel bowls. He's got this angle. 
you can see the coronary angle from here to here, how down it is like this. So every foot has got this very low angle to the ground, okay, every single foot. Radiographically, the coffin bones are misshapen, showing that they have been trying to support this horse by adding more bone on the solar aspect. And, and the body's exhausted, it can't do any more. So, our assessment has told us that we need to help this horse absorb percussion. So we're treating the pain in his back with some high intensity laser, some chiropractic to help take the pain away and a chiropractic to help this back move, right? Then we're gonna help the pathology in the foot. Everybody. By putting on this temporarily, maybe six, eight weeks called a clog. It's got some leather around the outside, so we get a little bit of concussion absorption when the lamb is on this from the hoof wall. And then we have all this rubber on this side, and he'll be able to shape that into where he wants. This can come way far back. And um, so we can get good courage of the heel because we don't have a shoe that is guided by the shortness of the heel bolt, see? So that's what we're gonna put on. What about the frog? Do you need to pare that down so he isn't pressuring it? Nope. The nope. clog take care of that? It, well, it depends on what we're putting on here, but if you can see with the shoe, it's recessed here. So it's got the hoof wall, so we've got a recess so that we'll have some space there. Foot's gonna be here on top of this leather, and it will be above this wood. And so the frog then will have something touching it, but no pressure on it. There's a big difference there. So I'm just looking, I'm gonna take down this hook wall a little bit here because it's grown since he was last trimmed. I'm just gonna take the front part. So He's dropping his head. It's like it, that's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah. 
And so we have left front today, we have left front before, and there's a, a nice difference here, a, a nice difference in this line. So you see this green line is coming right down through the, can, through the first phalanx, and you could see that the load of this horse's mass is being taken on the liquor bone, should be taken here on this bone right here. And the uh -huh. angle between these bones is 22 okay. degrees. I'll draw these same lines here, but it looks like our load is now going to come onto the coffin bone, not onto the navicular bone. And and, uh, and and see what he's doing with the shoe? See how he's smashed it down at the toe uh -huh. and left it high at the heel? And, and he'll be able to set that to however he wants. We've got shoe that comes clear out to the back of his heel bolt here. Here it had to stop short because of where the bars were. So I'll go through these radiographs and mark them up and, and see, you know, what of measurements we can show. And that's what's so important about having that cannonball and be perpendicular because now we've got, we're comparing apples to apples. Yeah, I can't see it. His coffin bone is definitely a different angle now. Yeah. And the fetlock bone. Yeah. Well, and, and when the first phalanx, Gets I think it does because of pain, just like you know, with contraction coming from the back, and so to soften that angle means we've taken some pain away from his foot. There's some nice work by Dr. Pollard out that says that the lamina is connected to the bone with ligamentous tissue. So it's like these horses have sprained ankle all the time, sore ligamentous tissue, and, and they can't absorb shock. It makes sense. Something's got to absorb the shock. The lamina does it. There's more cartilage in the foot than there are in the joints. But they need to be on the cartilaginous part of the foot, which is the heel part. So now we'll take it outside and walk him around. that that's better. Yeah, he looks a little hesitant.
Mike has only had two treatments out of six. First of all, he hasn't had any chiropractic yet. It looks like with the cake shoes on compared to these, he is less lame. He's a little unsure of these shoes right now. And I don't blame him. We've changed angles on all of the joints down below. We've yeah. changed pressures on all of the bones. And so it'll take a while. Anytime we change shoes on a horse, we could need to take at least two weeks. So we'll see what he's like. But it's, it's always helpful to be when we've made a big change to how the horse is supporting mass, impact, which is absorbing concussion, and breaking over and moving leg forward. We made those three changes on this horse today, and did we hurt him by making those changes or not? No, we helped him. How much, time will tell. Time will tell. So we'll video him again in two weeks. We'll video him after he's finished with his back treatment, and, and just kind of watch him. Check for his pulses and his feet, see if they're any better. So he's got a small pulse in left front. What a sweet boy. Isn't he a sweet boy?